Hello, so it's yesterday I see road. Today I got dropped off by Paul and Bonnie um, with their bed and breakfast. And I'm doing hog pen to Unicoi Gap today and tomorrow morning. I think 10 or 11 miles today. And then the last three or four tomorrow. And then I think I'm gonna go into Hiawassee and get a room. So that's the plan. Alright, I am four point something miles in to my day today. I have another seven and then I'll be seven or eight. I haven't decided yet if I want to uh, go to a tent site or if I want to push the extra mile to go to the shelter. And then tomorrow morning I'll only have three or four miles to get into Unicoi Gap. Low Gap shelter is right down there, but it's only like 11.20. So I'm not going there. I'm gonna keep on walking. The people at the bed and breakfast, um, they made a bunch of like baked goods. So they packed them, I packed them out or whatever. I have some cookies too. Um, so that's what I'm eating. And this is really gonna fuel me to get to Unicoi tomorrow because I Pretty much only have uh, um, some dehydrated meals otherwise. So I'm just hanging out here at this unofficial site. All right, I think I've got like 4.8 miles or something to the shelter. Um, my knee is really hurting. I thought taking a zero would help, but every step I take on a slight decline, I feel like it hurts. So, I don't know. There's this guy and his dog hiking. I think they're going to the shelter that I'm going to tonight. So that would be good. He was friendly. His dog was friendly. So, <laughs> I'm excited for that. And then, yeah, I mean, Unicoi Gap tomorrow. Then I'm pretty much have done the 70 miles of Georgia up to Dix Creek. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I think I'm, I think I'm heading home to section hike this summer. Uh, tackle Massachusetts, I think. And do some of the 48ers and the White Mountains. This wasn't for me like I thought it would be. But I'm also struggling with it a little bit, as anybody would. But everybody at home is super supportive. You know, they were proud of me no matter what I did. And I'm trying not to listen to the some of the people out here that are just calling me a quitter. This is kind of an easy section of trail. As you can see, it just wraps around the mountain. It's a couple miles of just walking like flat for the most part. And I've been hiking with a bit of a view and there's a lot of these mountain springs coming out of the mountain. Well, duh, mountain spring, but <laughs> there's a lot of them and they're really cool. And the water is good, like this one right here. This is a nice one. So today hasn't been too difficult, which is nice. I don't know if you guys can see this super well, but maybe not because of the branches, but through the trees, that big mountain right there, it has a little tower on top of it. That one right up there, that's Brasstown Bald, um, and that's the highest mountain in Georgia. So that's pretty cool. I noticed it coming down, I can see the tower. 
And I remember the people I stayed with the last few nights, they told me that that's Brass Town Bald. The AT does not go over it, but gets pretty close to it. Well, no, it'll, so it'll, yeah. Cable? I think there's cables, yeah. Well, I didn't see, I didn't see Are there not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just... You don't have, you don't have to worry about your water. Yeah, no, the water is high in water. All right, good morning. Today I am doing 2.8 miles down into Unicoi Gap, where I will going to Hiawassee. It is rainy, it rained all night, it was windy, my stuff soaked. <laughs> oh god. My descent out of um, off Blue Mountain into Unicoi Gap is just uh, something special this morning. You know, wet leaves and rocks, what could go wrong, huh? I mean, this is, and it just drops straight down there. This is nice. Really nice. Got my southern chicken tenders from this place that we don't have up north. Yummy. 